What's happening, fandoms? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, we react to music videos and shows. Today, I'm going back to Invincible. We're in season two and episode six is out now. It's not that simple. It's called, in the last episode, we had uh, the Guardians and Mark and Eve all kind of split up, most of them heading off to handle the Martian uh, threat headed their way with the mind control critters that were coming to conquer Earth. And uh, that crew seemed like they were in very big danger because uh, Eve was having trouble with her powers, not being able to sustain them. And uh, back on Earth, the few remaining guardians um, took on the Lizard League, who uncharacteristically were very powerful and were doing some real damage. It looks to me like we have permanently lost uh, some more guardians. Duplicate seems to be dead dead and Shrinking Ray also may be dead. Um, and it looks like Rexplode might actually have gotten captured perhaps by King Lizard. I'm not 100% on that, but they're not in good shape over there. And maybe that's King Lizard's plan all along because he wasn't really trying to not get detected. So um, we'll see. Uh, let's dive in, see how all this resolves because uh, man, last episode was bloody. Is too injured to fight. Mm. Just do it, you prick. Oh, damn. Oh. R.I.P. Rex also? Guardians! Protect them! Oh, shit. We will grant you death instead. Oh, no. There's too many of them. We can't give up. Oh no! Look out below! Oh! I'm not as strong as Eve, but I can keep them away for a few minutes. A few minutes is all I need. Okay, Martian man. Shape Smith. I'll do it. How dare you! Stop it! I'm stronger and faster than you, and you know it. Just stop fighting about it and go do Don't it. Fail. Cover me. Oh man, I hate these things. Push the button. <laughs> oh, throw it. Oh, no, okay. Oh, yes, hell yes, we did it. Did you? Oh, no, we, we were too powerful. Oh, shit. Yes, hooray! Ten out of ten! We need to go now! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get out of here. Where am I? We'll explain later. <laughs> oh, will oh, they... the Guardians are dead. They're so dead, they've made quite the mess of your precious little missile base. Oh, Rex is not dead? What? Uh... How could he not be dead? Well, look at this brave little soldier. Oh my god, Rex. <laughs> Seems like the loss of your brain hasn't hurt you as much as one would expect. Ooh. Rex. Oh, 
Oh, God damn. Are you all right? Huh? Never better? <laughs> Bleeding out of his brain and you his arm me. is missing. I'm practically invincible. <laughs> okay. Yeah, definitely. Except now he's get dead. Get this guy to an OR now. Get a stretcher over here. Oh, maybe Ray is not dead. Oh, wow. But I think Kate Never is. Gonna be sushi uh, uh, the hangar's through there. Halt! Go, 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 oh. Measure, measure. This is as fast as it goes. <laughs> Yeah, he can handle this, I guess. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Are you, though? Wow. Just rip through these ships. After everything Nolan put you through, no one expects you to raise this kid. Let us help. Mama! Oh, oh sweetie. damn. Your mom is mm. far, far away, and your dad... Is an asshole. His only brother, which makes him family to me, too. Debbie. Damn, Debbie's a good one. And let me remind one. you that I raised Mark, who just saved the world. Again. Again. Ah. I'm more than qualified to do this. Oh, boy. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. All right. Little purple boy. You win. But we're here if you need us. See you in my mind. Oh, these are all Kate's. Put it all at Oof, ease. that's rough. And then. Make me feel easy. Who's that? Is that Ray? Because I feel 25. And it never I don't was that I recognize way. that face. Well, if Rex comes out of this alive, he's probably going to have brain damage. A lot of it. Oh, that was a weird transition. Bra bra. Bra. <laughs> Little purple bra bra. bra, bra. You named him after Grandpa? Well, he needed an actual name, besides Nolan's alien baby. <laughs> it's good. I like it. Hmm. Oliver. I guess. It's better than nothing, I suppose. More guardian funerals. That was Kate's real power. Her unwavering belief that this world is good. Mm hmm Even when it killed her over and over and over again. Oh, um, yeah, that's Kate horrible. never stopped believing that. And encouraged me to do the same. Kate Shaw was a kindred soul. Hmm. It's nice. Mm. This is different. Weird. I thought we had more time together. Moment of vulnerability from the immortal there. A little coffee date for Mark. Okay. A little time off from being a superhero. Yeah, a bad first date. <laughs> I missed you. It does. Feel like a bad date. Too. Really thought college would be different, right? You know, like late night study sessions, secret dorm parties, spending time with my girlfriend. He just has too much of a life. Instead, we hang out less than we did before we went to college. And if you didn't feel that way, 
we wouldn't be dating to begin with. Mm. So, what do we do now? Figure it out. Deal with it. Bet Cecil's gonna be in his room. <laughs> oh, no, Mark, Donald. Look who's back! Whoa, Rick. How Ooh. are you feeling? Hi, Mark. Um, I, I guess I'm fine. He's doing great. Doctors gave him a clean bill of health. Donald says he can come back to Upstate, right? I'm here to help facilitate his transition. Is he a robot? If there's anything I can do, just call me. That is so kind. Thank you. Resurface. Mm. Donald, are you okay? Yep. Did they kill him Tell again? I'll check in later and he doesn't doing. know uh, again. Okay. Bye. I think. I think. Well, you, you get, look you like Donald shit. lost his memory again. And that's coming from a guy that looks like this. <laughs> what is it about being a superhero where we go around saving lives while ruining them at the same time? Mm, yeah, that's the thesis of this whole show. <sighs> Jesus. All right, let's hear it. Hear what? Uh, the reason your face looks all like that. I don't know, you know, sad and shit. Hmm. Rex is different. Having his brains blown out has definitely changed him. Hey, I haven't seen you since Kate's funeral. Are you okay, Mark? Yeah. No, um, I'm I wonder how much fine. time has passed. <laughs> anyway, I, I, I gotta run, so I'll, I'll see you around. Okay. Hmm. I think he's... Bye. Feeling uncomfortable around her because he likes her. The bearer of spring colors and waterfall countertops. <sighs> but I don't think you're the right fit for us. No? No. I'm not comfortable hiring a spy. Spy? Yeah, I don't she's understand. From the GDA. I was married to Nolan for 20 years. I can spot Cecil's people a mile away. So thank you. Bye bye. That man cannot take a hint. <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm April Housem here for the nanny position. No, before we begin, you should know that Cecil sent me. I also know that Nolan Grayson, or Omni Man, is Oliver's father, and that your son Mark, also invincible, is Oliver's half brother. Interesting. She knows briefed, I see. everything. My philosophy on child rearing is simple: encourage a child's natural curiosity for the world. Here you go, buddy. You're the boss, not him. <laughs> Mama boss. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See? He's gonna grow Oliver really knows fast. Who's in charge. Wow. Mama boss. Hmm. Amber? Your place really blends in with the trees. What is I she past it like five times. doing here? Can we talk? Hmm. Is this the costume guy? Oh, cool. Ah, I see. <laughs> Girl trouble. <laughs> okay, this guy is wise. Huh? It's all over your face, kid. Pull hmm. up a chair. See, can I... And I... I love Amber, and I want to be with her, but... Mark puts himself on the line for people he doesn't even know, and that takes real guts to not care what anyone else thinks. Mm. You know, and Amber they always does the right up? thing. It's inspiring. She makes me a better person. A real catch. So what's the problem? We never complained because a it made us feel like assholes, and b we didn't want to distract Dad from saving the world. So he's feeling bad about doing. <sighs> I, I don't to want her. that kind of life for Amber. She yeah. deserves better. Well, if you guys can't always be together, then make the times you are together count. Mark's back on Earth, so I guess the question you have to ask yourself is, why, why are, you are you here talking, talking to me when, when you should, should be, be talking, talking to, to her? Him? Go That's home, Mark. Fun. Go home and be with your girlfriend. Mm. Yeah, thanks for listening, Art. Both of them. Hey, your mom told me what happened with your dad on Thraxa. It had to be tough. 
seeing him again. Nolan wrote more than just travel books. What? Oh, Art's going to... sci-fi novels under a pen name when you were a kid. None of them sold great, so he gave it up. Can you believe he gave them to me as a tip once? Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> a big spender? Your dad was not. Lost inside the chasm to oblivion. You're the only one who uh, recovered. Mm. You hungry? <laughs> They did upgrade the waffle maker in the cafeteria. Ooh. I see flashes sometimes. Rick, Sinclair's face. Not okay. A scalpel. But it's like I'm watching someone else's nightmare. Am I me again, William? If the Infinity Ray is indeed real and as powerful as the stories claim, it poses a huge, huge threat to our mission. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, I think there's going to be planet, some clues savage in here somehow. Our mission was simple: to, to investigate this harsh planet, planet and report back to Space Command headquarters. The planet had other plans. Oh no! Is that Ragnar's? <laughs> What are you talking about? You and a long oh, overdue vacation. Wants to chill out. No. I wasn't asking. How dare you? Sykes concerned. So am I. And since mm. you refuse to see our specialist. I don't need your pinheads poking around my brain. Kate's mm. death was difficult for everyone. But I need you. I to... said I'm fine! Only man sent you! Uh, and chill the hell out! Jeez. <laughs> I do not want to hurt you, sir! Ooh, that hurt! Ooh, you crossed the line with that one! I'll kill you! We just met! Invincible! <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> I don't know. I came here looking for you, and then suddenly this douchebag attacked me. You have those on Earth, right? Douchebags? <laughs> Alan's my friend. He's a good guy. Not very heroic of you, Earth superhero of Earth. I... Mm. I thought you were someone else. Mm. Man, Immortal's now got a chip on his brought. shoulder. His girlfriend just died. Well, now I feel like a giant douchebag. You do have them, right? I'm going to keep making that reference. <laughs> Look, we need to talk. Wait for him. I think she might be making some choices here. All right, we should be good now. You know, on my planet, a sock on the door means somebody's fucking. Yeah, it's the same here. <laughs> okay. Uh... <laughs> I know, right? It turns out he rebelled against the Empire like years ago. So, the tea. it's not much, but it is a start. Now, we can only win over your dad. Yeah, uh, about my dad. Mm. They took captured. him away. Said they're going to execute him. If On behalf of Thetis and the Coalition of Planets, I am to escort you to Telescria to discuss our war against the Viltrum Empire and how you can help. Mm. Grab your stuff, Mark. We got a boogie. What? No. I, I just got back from space. Twice. <laughs> I'm not going back just to talk to your boss. This could be our chance to end Viltrumite tyranny for good. Isn't that what you want? Of he course. He just wants to save Earth. But Amber and I are in a weird place. And now that my mom's looking after my half-brother, I can't just ditch her. I have a hunch about something, but I need a second opinion. Oh, he's gonna send the books. This sounds kind of familiar. Hey, is that Space Racer? But well, Space Rider in the book. It's Space Racer in real life, and he is legendary in that no one is sure if he's real or not. Mm. Okay, so I think everything in these books yeah, there is we go. real. They've got and clues. And it's all stuff that can hurt Viltrumites. Health aid is that when it's time to attack, when you need someone for the actual fight. I'll be there. He's in. Count on it. 
Alright. Hey, Mark. Are you and Amber done yet? That sock's been on the door for hours, and I really need to go to bed. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but it wasn't Amber. You conquered hundreds of planets, brought glory to the Empire. You mm. were one of our greatest warriors. Okay. How did a mere moment on Earth turn you into a weak, sentimental traitor? Love. Answer me! Come on. It wasn't enough that you left me to die on Mars. You had to trash my place, too. Oh, this was his actual... Ah. Uh, oh. Okay, so he, he basically stole the astronaut's stuff in place. Oh, no! How did this happen? Oh, shit. Oh, no. I totally forgot that this show fools you with the credits and their stuff afterwards. So let's check the post credit scene and I'll insert this somewhere. Here we go. Let me help you with the jacket. Hmm. An excellent fit, if I do say so myself. What? May I ask, sir, what's the occasion for such a fine suit? Oh. I'm visiting an old friend. Ah, <laughs> uh, it is good to be home. <laughs> what? Okay, I don't know exactly what all that means, but it's been a long time since we saw that guy. And he is, I, I thought, was going to be the main problem of this season. And it's good to see him back. So we'll have to we'll have to see what impact he will have going forward. Whew. Um, yeah, I can't believe I didn't remember the after credits thing they they do it almost every episode and i cut my recording right before it went on so all right guys how did so he had one in his stomach or in his digestive system and spit it up i don't i don't know how this is okay so what how bad is one of these things gonna be can it reproduce okay uh, like a, a million of them I can see is a huge threat one of them not nearly as big of a threat but still a problem hmm. very interesting way to end the episode um, I love that we got Alan I love that he's uh, he's just super chill he's basically just Seth Rogen incarnate that is a perfect cast if uh, that's the way Alan is in the in the comics Seth is a perfect, perfect cast for him. Love it. Um, we're, we're finally getting some threads about what the books are going to do. And it seems like not only are they clues, but they're literal, actual stories from Nolan's past that might provide some path to defeating the Viltrumites. So that's, that's interesting. I thought they were just going to be uh, fictional stories that might have had some clues sprinkled in or something, but these seem like they're essentially diaries, uh, travel logs, if you will. So that's kind of cool. Um, should be much more useful than fiction. Uh, interesting that we got, um, a Cecil based solution for taking care of baby Oliver. And despite the fact that Debbie was uh, shutting down agents that she didn't know a hundred percent for sure that were agents, one that was honest with her, she may actually take, take her up on that offer. And I, I think she's going to, we I don't know that we saw that she actually did, but, um, it's the right choice, I think, and 
Debbie, Debbie should get Cecil's help regardless of what she feels about it. I mean, he, she really needs it. Um, and it's so not fair for her to have to deal with Nolan's, you know, leftovers, his, you know, whatever, like from another, from another marriage. The, the fact that she has the connection through Mark is one thing, I suppose, but I mean, it's just, it's a horrible situation. I wouldn't want to be there. And, uh, the fact that Debbie is such a good person, I think is really crucial to the way Mark has turned out anyway. So maybe having her involved with this other Viltramite will also um, prevent Oliver from turning full Viltramite and, you know, taking over the planet. Cause that's a real risk as well uh, that we have to look out for. Oh boy. Um, I think we might be approaching an end to the Amber and Mark saga. Uh, seems like she was at a party and maybe looking for other options. Um, we never really saw any resolution after both of them were seeking advice. And uh, I suspect that we're gonna have an Eve connection. We'll get a triangle going. Um, and maybe Amber will be done or maybe not. I'll have to see, but, um, perfect, perfect storytelling. I'm very much enjoying this. I really thought that we were going to lose Rex, but we didn't fully lose him. We just maybe lost the asshole Rex and maybe gained a more self-aware Rex. Um, apparently getting a bullet through his brain might have destroyed the parts of him that were misogynistic and, and dickish. So um, maybe we get a new reformed Rex and that would be okay. Um, looking forward to how that progresses, but the, the fact that we 100% lost duplicate is, is kind of sucks. I really enjoyed that character. I thought she, she was pretty cool the way her stuff worked. And I, you know, I was kind of rooting for her, but, um, it looks like she is fully gone and Ray, we never really saw any improvement from shrinking Ray. I think that was her name, shrinking Ray. Um, Never saw any improvement from her, so I don't know if we'll ever get any resolution on that or if she'll just wither away eventually. Uh, maybe we'll see her back, but um, uh, it looks like uh, we might have put an end to the Lizard League because King Lizard's now dead. As far as I can tell, Rex beat him to a pulp after... He should have been fully dead. Uh, seems like he was just barely clinging to life, just enough to take out Mr. King Lizard. But uh, yeah, I I fully was not expecting him to be shot through the brain at the beginning of this episode. I figured King Lizard would take him hostage or something, but this show is too brutal for my for the way my mind thinks for storylines um and they they really know how to uh draw that tension out of the brutality um and we have to remember we're working with superheroes here right um rex somehow was able to rug off a bullet through his skull and uh the superhero-ness of it. I mean, his powers aren't healing. They're not indestructibility. They're not any of those things, but still somehow he, he pulled that off. So you have to, you have to kind of suspend the disbelief a little bit. And because of that, the stories are, are fantastic. I, I'm, I'm just not capable of uh, predicting where they go because it's just, it's just too, too over that brutality edge for, for the way I think. So, all right, um, we got a, a heck of a, a heck of a uh, cliffhanger for next episodes or for the remainder of this season. 
but uh, we, we definitely uh, made some progress here, I think, with Art having, having the actual physical copies of those books. That's what we really needed. Um, and now those, those are headed back to the Council of Planets to be examined, and perhaps we will make some progress there. Uh, all right, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you guys so much for for watching along with us. Um, love the comments and thank you so much for all the subs and, and the likes. We appreciate those as well very much. Uh, thank you so much and we'll see you in the next video.